open to Jesus. Give the with a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy Give thanks because He gave Jesus Christ the Son. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done. For us, give them. Amen. Shall we call upon Pastor Divine Samuel to round up the prayer of thanksgiving? Heavenly Father, dependable God, we thank you for life you have granted to us. We thank you for your good work in our life. We thank you for good health. We thank you for the privilege of praying together. We thank you for leading us so far in these united prayers. We thank you for your healing mercies. We thank you for those you have delivered from accidents. We thank you for granting safe delivery to mothers. We thank you for those you have lifted up in their businesses. We thank you for our listeners from Zoom, YouTube, and Facebook. We thank you for prayers you've answered us already in the course of these united prayers. In all things, we return all glory to you. And we pray that your name be highly exalted. O oh Lord, our God, we cannot thank you enough for your goodness. We cannot thank you enough for your mercy. We cannot thank you for every good thing and great things you are doing in our lives. In all things, Lord, we say, let your holy name be glorified. Let your holy name be exalted. Let your holy name be lifted high. Father, as we progress in this program, my father, we pray that you continue to bless your children. Mm -hmm. We pray that you continue to bless that person listening to us tonight. Mm -hmm. We pray that your blessings will continue to follow your children. Be thou glorified forever. We ask with thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Divine Samuel, for concluding the prayer on Thanksgiving. Beloved, our second prayer for tonight shall be prayer of confession and forgiveness. Prayer of confession and forgiveness. The Bible is clear that we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Bible is clear that there is not even one righteous person on it. Each one of us has sinned against God. We sin through the way we talk, through the way we dress, even the things we think in our hearts. Tonight, we have an opportunity to confess these sins and to plead for forgiveness. By faith, we believe that as we confess these sins, the Lord will be faithful and just 
to forgive us our sins. Tonight, I am going to allow us three minutes for this prayer of confession and forgiveness. I would like each one of us to kneel as we say this special prayer. Wherever you are, joining the Facebook, YouTube, or Zoom, it is one prayer point that is very special. And so we like to go on our knees for this prayer. As I allow us three minutes to pray each one of us, at the end of the three minutes, as I raise a song from here, we'll be inviting Pastor Abilo Jackson to summarize the prayer of confession and forgiveness. Pastor Abilo Jackson will be summarizing the prayer of confession and forgiveness. Let us go on our knees, brethren, as we ask the Lord to confess, to forgive us our sins. I faith looks up to thee, thy lamp of Calvary, Savior Diva, now hear me one. I pray, take all my gift away. Oh, let me from 
Bis de bio, vida. Amen. Amen. Shall we invite Pastor Abilo Jackson to summarize our prayer of confession and forgiveness? Pastor Abilo. Our God and our Father in heaven, we come to you in the multitude of our sins and we pray, O oh Lord, have mercy upon us and forgive us all our sins. The sin we have committed knowingly, the sin we have committed unknowingly. The sins we've committed with our eyes, the sins we've committed with our mouth, the sins we've committed by our actions, the sins we've committed even in our thoughts. Oh Lord, we pray, have mercy upon us and forgive us. Lord, your word says that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. First John chapter one, verse nine. Lord, in this your word, we plead and believe that our sins have been forgiven in as much as we have confessed them to you this night. This is our Lord. Lord, we pray that as we have confessed our sins, may we receive forgiveness from you. May our sins be purged with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. May we on this ground be sanctified. May we on this ground be cleansed. May we on this ground be purified. Take away all stains brought to us by reasons of our sin. Erase our sins completely. Make us to be as white as snow. Thank you, faithful Father, for granting us forgiveness. Thank you, O Lord, for cleansing us. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because we have been accepted. Let your name be exalted, glorified, and praised for pardoning us of our sins and for forgiving us of our guilt. We pray with thanksgiving in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Abilo Jackson, for summarizing for us the prayer of confession and forgiveness. The Lord bless you. Friends of Jesus, we continue with our prayer points. This time around, by the grace of God, we shall be praying for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon our lives as individuals, upon our lives as a family, upon our lives as local churches, upon our life as an entity by as a mission. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon the church of God. You want to agree with me that if there is any gift we ever needed as sons and daughters of God, it is the gift of the Holy Spirit. And what a privilege to ask the almighty God to pour upon us afresh his Holy Spirit, that our relationship with him will be more cordial. Yeah. Friends, we are going to have another three minutes to offer this prayer, each one of us. Wherever you are, I urge you at this hour to rise. Rise up and bow your heads down as we plead with the Lord to grant us this great gift of the presence and power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Let us rise up each one of us 
and bow our heads as we pray. At the end of these three minutes of asking the Lord to pour upon us the Holy Spirit, we shall invite Pastor Gift Vincent Ozobe to summarize the prayer for us, the prayer for the gift of the Holy Spirit. We are going to take three minutes to say this prayer. And at the end, we shall invite Pastor Ozobe to equally use three minutes to summarize the prayer for us. Let us stand and bow our heads for this prayer. When you hear me sing a song, I shall invite Pastor Ozobe to summarize this prayer for us. Let us pray. Oh, for the flame of living fair, we shone so bright in sense of hope, which bred the soul to heaven as well. Come in this dress. In the Amen. Amen. Pastor Gift Vincent Ozobe. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the privilege of prayer. Today we claim your word that you have assured us in. Zechariah chapter 10, verse 1, that we should ask for rain in the time of the latter rain, that the Lord will make flashing clouds, that you will give us showers of rain and grass in every feed for everyone. You have also assured us in Luke chapter 11, verse 13, if you then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, and how much more you, our Heavenly Father, will give the Holy Spirit to those who ask. So today we are asking for your Holy Spirit to come upon us in a mighty way, to come upon us in a measure that we have never experienced it before. Grant us your power. Grant us your presence. And Lord, we pray that through the Holy Spirit may you accomplish greater works. May we be able to accomplish greater works for you. Thank you, O oh God 
for we know that you are willing and you are ready to give us this gift. So we claim this gift of your Holy Spirit by faith today. Thank you for answering our prayer. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Uzobe, for that prayer. Brothers and sisters, we continue with our prayers. Next, we want to pray for our physical and spiritual projects. Our physical and spiritual projects as a mission. We have the projects of evangelism. We have the project of status upgrade. We have the project of fencing the mission headquarters. We have the project of uh, building the officer's quarters. And of course, individually as church members, we also have our projects. What a privilege to carry to God in prayer, these projects. I'm willing to allow us two minutes, each one of us, let us bow our heads as we commit these prayers, these projects, physical and spiritual, unto God in prayer. Wherever you are seated, wherever you are joining the program, could you please bow your heads as we commit our projects unto God's hand? I give you two minutes to say this prayer. At the end of uh, two minutes, I am going to invite Eda Oliver Okwara to summarize the prayer for two minutes for us. I said at the end of our two minutes prayer, Eda Oliver Okwara will be summarizing the prayer for us. Let us pray. Let us begin to round up in our personal prayers. And now may the Lord hear and answer our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ed, uh, Oliver, please. Our dear Father in heaven, the creator of heaven and earth, the redeemer of mankind. We thank you so much for this privilege of calling upon your name. But I will also thank you for inviting mortal beings like us to walk with you. Our father and our king, your church in Bayesa has several projects we are embarking on. We have both physical and spiritual projects for which we know that we can do nothing without you. We commit these projects in your hand. Father, we need resources. We need finances, oh Lord, 
to sponsor the evangelism. We need your Holy Spirit to touch the hearts of the people we are going to speak to. We need you, O oh Father, to empower us even to be able to reach out. Therefore, our evangelism projects shall be a success because you have sent us to go in your word in the book of Matthew chapter 28 from verse 18. You asked us to go. Therefore, we are going to go in your name. And the job is yours, O oh Father. We are just instruments in your hand. As we go forth, O oh Lord, may you win souls for yourself. Every instrument, both human and otherwise, shall be set for this job. Our Lord and our King, as a mission, we are fencing the mission headquarters. The perimeter fencing is ongoing. Resources are needed. Resources have been committed and more are needed. We depend on you. Father, may you provide for your people that we may in turn provide for that job. The officers' quarters will soon begin. Oh Lord, we believe in you. We trust in you. Without you, there is no abandoned project. Therefore, that project will be started and be completed. And we shall be happy that we shall even enjoy the fruit of that labor. Individuals, individual churches in this mission, oh Father, have building projects they are carrying on. Father, please, may these projects not be abandoned. May you Amen. provide all it takes. Give us Amen. the commitment. Give us the willingness. Give us the enablement. Give us the resources. And let it be well channeled. Let your will be done in these projects. Be it a church building project, personage project, or whatever. Even individual members, your children, oh Father. In various ways, we have our projects. We pray, oh Father, that you supply all our needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Father, we also submit ourselves as projects in your hands. May you build us. May you raise us to your own glory so that we shall be that which you want us to be. Thank you, Father. After all our work here on earth, may we have a place in your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Edda Oliver, for that prayer. Beloved, we continue with our prayers tonight. The next, we want to pray for job provision and job security. It is one thing to have a job. It is another for that job to be secure. There is nothing our God cannot do for us. The God who can give us a job can secure that job for us. For everyone who is employed, we pray the Lord will secure the jobs for them. For everyone needing a job, we pray that the Lord will provide. We are going to use two minutes, each one of us, to pray on this point. At the end of the prayer, at the end of two minutes, I shall invite Pastor Christian Adendo to round up the prayer in two minutes. At the end of our two minutes prayer, I shall invite Pastor Christian Adendo to summarize the prayer for us. Let us bow our heads as we offer this prayer.
shall we begin to round up in our individual prayers? And now may the Lord hear and answer our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor Adendo. Dear Heavenly Father, hallowed be thy name. Thank you for the opportunity that you have given to us to ask of you our needs. Therefore, tonight, Lord, we have come to ask of you the blessing of a good job. To many who desire, Lord, to work, I pray tonight that you grant them a good job. Amen. Father, also to them whose job is facing, or those whom their job are facing one problem or the other, challenges, truth. Father, today we pray that you secure their jobs. Amen. Father, we pray that you remove every hand of the enemy in their jobs. Father, we pray that you grant them favor before their employers. Father, we pray that as we have asked of you tonight, that there shall be testimonies from your children which shall be to thy glory. And then, Lord, there shall be many returns into thy storehouse. Therefore, tonight, let every heart that is waiting upon thee be blessed. And let it be anchored in the spirit. And in no distant time, Lord, it shall manifest. We have asked, Lord, believing that you have answered our prayers. Let it be so, Lord, as we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Adendo, for that prayer. Friends, we are making progress. The next but one more prayer point we have is intercessory prayer. Interceding for our brothers and sisters, for our friends and well-wishers, for members of our families, committing them to the hand of God. At the end of two minutes of this prayer, I will invite Mr. President, Pastor Obioma Sunday, to summarize this prayer. But for now, we are going to use two minutes, each one of us as we rise from wherever we are, from whatever platform you are participating in the program, I invite you to rise as we pray, not for ourselves, but for somebody else. It could be somebody working with you in the same office. It could be somebody trading along with you, but somebody very dear, somebody you know needs God's intervention in one way or the other. What a privilege to commit such person or persons into the hand of God. Let us pray. At the end, Pastor Bioma Sunday, we use just one minute to summarize that prayer.
Oh God, I have energies, but I hope for years to come. I share the from the stormy blast and I now may the Lord hear and answer our prayers in Jesus' name. Pastor of your mass Sunday. Heavenly Father, everlasting King of glory, the Holy One of Israel. We thank you this moment of prayer. As many as have tuned to this program, from whichever part of the globe. Lord, by faith we believe that you have ministered healing to them. You have ministered to them and have met them at their various points of need. Mm -hmm. Father, I pray, thanking you for bringing us into your presence. You are present that brings great anointing that breaks yokes. I know that yokes have been broken in the lives of your children this night. King of glory at this hour, we are praying for our people that are around us. Your children have brought those that are around them that are suffering, that are passing through one pain or the other, and they have surrendered to you. And you know these individuals one by one. And I know you meet them at their points of need. Father, I pray with their need, a healing, sickness, bring healing to them. Those that need their relationship to be healed and restored, Father, please defend their children. Fight for your children. Bring these families back. Reconcile them in the name of Jesus. Those that are looking for life partners, those that are looking for employment, those that are looking for business breakthrough. Father, whatever anyone has asked, Lord, whatever it is, reach them. I pray also, even for those who are suffering because of the hard economy, Lord, visit them. Thank you because you have blessed your children and you meet them at their points of need and they will come to give testimonies from these requests that they have all made. We have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, for that prayer. Brothers and sisters, the God who created us desires that we ask, and that when we ask, it shall be given unto us. The God who created us desires that we seek, and that when we seek, we shall find. The Creator God desires that we knock, and that when we knock, it shall be opened unto us. It is my prayer, it is my encouragement to each one of us this night, joining via YouTube, via Zoom, via Facebook that all the prayers we have said this night, we need to be assured that the Lord will hear and answer us. Mm -hmm. In Mark chapter 11, verse 24, we are encouraged further that whatsoever we desire, that when we pray, we should believe that we receive them and they shall be ours. All that we have prayed for this night, it is my prayer that they shall be ours in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, friends, for viewing or listening from various channels. Whether you listen from Zoom, you listen via Facebook or YouTube, I especially thank you for being part of this program this night. Once again, my name is Pastor Jaffet Wilson. And tonight, my anchors have been Sister Benita Dinkba, Pastor Obioma Sunday, and Pastor Eze Robinson. The program continues tomorrow. The time once more is 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. I encourage you to be part of this prayer tomorrow, for tomorrow will be another round of blessings. Until we come here again tomorrow, it is a good night from us. The Lord bless you all. Bye for now.
Yes. You don't shut me out. No, you're still out. 